Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. So my name is Ava. I'm the peer advisor for computer science engineering. Um, and today we have Michigan Hackers here to talk a little bit about their club. Um, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, so my name is Abik. Uh, I'm a senior majoring in computer science through the College of Engineering. Um, and yeah, I'm the current president of Michigan Hackers. Uh, I've been involved with the club uh, ever since my freshman year. Um, and yeah, I guess outside of like uh, work and stuff. Awesome. I'm a okay, let's get soccer here. Um, we'll get started first. Then, can you tell us um, basically what is Michigan Hackers? You know, what type of majors are in there, and what type of people? Um, and maybe like what the gold organization is. Yeah, sure. Um, so Michigan Hackers uh, is basically the largest tech-focused uh, organization on campus, uh, and the way our club is structured is that we essentially have over uh, 10 different uh, development sub teams. Uh, and each of these teams are basically either working on projects or doing education sessions in a certain uh, domain of tech. <clears throat> so we have like Android, um, iOS, web, machine learning, embedded systems, security, et cetera, just seeing a few. Um, and yeah, other than that, you know, uh, we're a very big community. So we do a bunch of like uh, corporate events uh, with sponsors that we have. So some of the sponsors that we have are like Meta, CrowdStrike, Oracle. Um, and then we also have a bunch of fun social events. Uh, this semester, we're going to be going uh, to Yoast and we're going to be doing ice skating. Um, and in terms of like the target audience for our club, uh, it's mainly uh, computer science majors. Uh, but we also have uh, a lot of data science majors courtesy of like the machine learning team that we have. And given the fact that we also have an embedded systems team, uh, we also have a couple of uh, electrical engineering majors. Um, yeah, that was yeah, I that's perfect. That's awesome. You, um, you mentioned that you guys are like the biggest uh, tech club here. How many members would you say roughly are in the club? Yeah, so I mean, every semester, uh, we generally see around um, 100 to 150 members. Uh, and that is excluding uh, our leadership team. Our leadership team itself is around 25 people. Um, and yeah, you know, we, we have a huge outreach. Uh, like the, we have like weekly emails that we send which uh, go out to around like 4,500 people. Uh, we have a Slack workspace which has like 2,000 people. Um, so yeah, we're-, we're That's awesome. We, we That's really cool. Um, and then you mentioned that you guys do all types of events like social, professional outreach. Um, are they on specific dates or are they all like spread out throughout the semester? Yeah, um, so they're generally uh, pretty well distributed across the semester. Uh, obviously, you know, when it comes to like midterm season or final season, we uh, avoid setting up like, uh, you know, the different professional events that we are, you know, corporate events that we have around that time. Um, I guess like in general, so our club, uh, we have weekly meetings, which we call hack nights. Uh, and that's when our different sub teams essentially meet. Um, and those are always uh, on Thursdays at 7 p.m. on our campus. That is a staple that, you know, we've maintained for like uh, quite a few years now. Um, and generally when it comes to like these other uh, initiatives such as corporate events, social events, uh, we generally have them on other days of the week. So we tend to have the corporate events on like, uh, we've done a lot of them on Tuesdays. Uh, we have like tech talks with like different, uh, each professor which we do on Tuesdays. And when it comes to social events, we generally, we've been trying to run them more on weekends. Um, and yeah, you know, these, we, other than our, like our half nights, we generally have like one other event uh, a week. Perfect. Uh, so okay. yeah, it's pretty recurring. Um, and then also I wanted to ask about time commitment. Um, is there an expected time commitment for members or how has it been for you as well? Um, you know, being engineering and also being the president and stuff, like what's the time commitment, I guess, for the overall for different people? Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the more time you invest into the club, the more you'll get out of it. And I think that's true for anything. Um, in general, you know, as a regular member of the club, uh, you generally put in around, I'd say, uh, four hours a week, four to, uh, three to five hours a week, I would say. Um, because, so like, as I mentioned, our half nights are generally around two hours. So there's a commitment of coming to that. Uh, and then, you know, if you're attending the other event that we're having, let's say that week, if it's a corporate event, uh, that's going to be like another hour, an hour and a half. Uh, and then there's obviously, you know, some time that uh, you're expected to put in just outside of the scope of meetings as well in terms of like, you know, preparing for meetings, uh, reading through materials that 
uh, your team lead will send, and so on. Um, and yeah, like the, the commitment varies, obviously, if you're just like a normal member, uh, it's three to five hours you know, if you're a team lead. So all of our teams have like leads. Uh, and then you know, there's obviously more time when it comes to like uh, prepping, prepping for meetings. Um, so that's bigger commitment. And then, yeah, it's like if you're, uh, you know, one of my roles, so I'm, our, my position is president and I'm part of the ex executive board team. Uh, so that's obviously an even bigger commitment. Um, but yeah, it kind of like, I guess it like goes up with like, yeah, that's okay. That was a really good overview. Um, how is it like managing the classes, like being, you know, a big club like this, and then also have rigorous like guest class? What? Yeah, you know, it's it's obviously challenging, right? Um, given that each classes are often, I would say they're definitely one of the most demanding classes, you know, in this entire university, like, especially if you're like, the last semester I was taking H42, right, which is uh, our operating systems class, and that was a huge time commitment. Um, but I think one thing that, uh, you know, members kind of like understand and realize is that uh, student orgs like Michigan Hackers essentially offer a lot of stuff that is not available in the scope of a classroom. Like, sure, in a classroom, you're working on, you know, uh, you're working on some cool products, I guess. Uh, you're getting a good theoretical understanding of concepts. But in a club like Michigan Hackers, uh, it's more like application-based. Uh, you're collaborating with a lot of students. Um, and yeah, you uh, then there's obviously, like, uh, the opportunities to, like, network with people within the club, uh, network with, you know, uh, companies and so on. Um, so yeah, you know, uh, it's it's obviously you know a little difficult to manage it, especially you know if you're joining the club initially. Uh, but if you if you attend like a couple of meetings, you kind of figure out the best way to like balance it out. Um, so I think it generally works. That was out another great approach to uh, time management. That's great. Uh, and then you mentioned too that you have different um, like projects and sub teams. Can you go over kind of? I think you mentioned a little bit some of them, but can you go over what those? Are? Uh, yeah for sure uh so first of all so we have like core teams and we have like non-core teams uh so our core teams are essentially our teams that meet every thursday um uh, and um you know work on the projects or like do education sessions and then non-core teams are those that do not meet on thursday so members can be part of you know one core team and like uh one non-core team uh, and you can basically join any core team you want, but non-core teams are a little more like selective. Um, but yeah, so like, for example, when it comes to our core teams, uh, we have Android, right? So uh, they, they're essentially building an Android app uh, and this semester or this uh, year, essentially, they've been working on kind of like building a fitness tracking app. Uh, so you can count like the number of steps uh, that you've walked throughout, let's say a day. You can like uh, invite your friends to compete with you and so on. Um, then we have an iOS team, which has been building like iOS apps. Uh, you know, they, last semester they were building like uh, their own version of Wordle, um, and uh, I think uh, this semester they're working on uh, like a study buddies app, like where you can find uh, study buddies for your specific classes uh, in uh, on campus. Um, and then like we have an embedded systems team, um, and they've been working on uh, building a drone. Um, then like our machine learning team, they've uh, so machine learning is split into like a education session uh, section and like in project teams as well. So uh, for the project teams, like I think one team's been working on uh, building like a, a handwriting recognition neural network. Um, so yeah, those are like the core teams. We have 10 core teams in total. And on the side, we also have like three non-core teams. Um, and these are, uh, those three teams are like, uh, one of them is essentially our website team uh, where we've, just, and essentially since uh, last semester, uh, we've been working on a, uh, on the project of uh, completely overhauling and revamping our club website. Uh, so people have been working on that. Uh, there is um, an internal tooling team that we actually introduced recently. Uh, that team's been, um, it's responsible for building a software that automates a lot of the processes uh, that go like in the you know background of the club. Um, so yeah, I think that's yeah. kind of like a novel. That's a lot of really great opportunities yeah. and projects. To think. That's awesome. Um, you also mentioned that professional opportunities were bringing the most events with companies. Um, how many times would you see companies come in? What, what exactly do they teach or tend to do at these events? Yeah, so, you know, uh, we, so last semester, for example, we had five corporate events. Uh, this semester, we've already had two. We plan to have, I think, one more. Um, 
and yeah, you know, uh, the what happens in these corporate events kind of varies from event to event. Uh, so, for example, uh, we did a we did an event with Meta, uh, where essentially they had engineers coming in. Uh, they talked about their experience of like working at a company on such a large scale, and then there was like an open uh, Q and A session. Um, then we had an event with Sig, uh, and they essentially kind of like hosted a coding challenge with us, which is really cool. Um, and then uh, this semester we had Granger come in and they conducted uh, kind of like a technical interviewing workshop. Uh, so yeah, you know the the I guess like the scope of the event kind of like varies from event to event. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's nice in the sense that you kind of like get a diverse array of like uh, events. So you know it's if it's the same thing again and again, then you know it gets kind of boring. Uh, so we try to like provide as many different kinds of opportunities with these Those are great companies as possible. Um, and then I also do, so there's different, um, there's like executive board and there's like leads, um, different leadership opportunities. Can you talk about um, kind of like what, other, I guess, like general leadership opportunities? Yeah, for sure. So I, I guess like, first of all, there's like being a general member, right? Uh, so our club is open membership. If you show up, you're a member. Uh, but then we also have something called being a core member uh, where uh, in order to become a core member, you need to show commitment in terms of showing up to meetings, contributing to our community. Um, so basically this semester, uh, if you want to become a core member, you need seven attendance points. Um, and uh, if you want to retain your mem core membership for next semester, you need five attendance points. Um, and then uh, once you're a core member, uh, you're eligible for being a team, a core team lead. Um, and our core team leads are essentially responsible for like managing our core teams. Uh, so like, as I mentioned, we have Android, iOS, and each team generally has around uh, two leads. Um, and the the commitment of being a lead is generally, uh, you know, it's at least a semester and then you can stretch it up essentially to a year or as long as you want. Um, and yeah, you know, generally we have we have leads graduating uh, every semester um, and, you know, our leads were like stepping down uh, to go into a more advise, advisory role every semester. So, the, so essentially if you actively participated in a certain team, uh, then uh, there's like an application process that the current team's lead will set up and uh, you know you can fill out that application uh, basically interview with that team's lead and uh, if you if they think that you're a good fit for the team um, you know you can uh, you'll have the opportunity to lead it uh, and yeah the responsibilities of a team lead are in general just like leading that specific team you know the, defining like uh, a, a semester long or like a year long plan um, you know, overseeing members, making sure that everyone's on the same page, uh, and just like representing the club in general. Um, and yeah, after, I guess, being a lead, uh, we have executive board. Um, so currently our executive board is uh, three people, whereas our core leads are like 20 people right now. Um, and yeah, the exec board's responsibility uh, is to basically manage um, club-wide activities. Uh, so, you know, overseeing our different team leads, uh, setting up corporate events, setting up social events, defining club strategy, um, you know, handling member relations, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and that is essentially a yearly commitment. Uh, so it, uh, the tenure generally starts in fall and goes up to winter. Um, and yeah, we actually, uh, if anyone from Michigan Hackers is seeing this, um, we, we actually have our exec uh, board applications open. They're due on Friday, so if you're interested, uh, fill that out. Um, but yeah, I mean, at least for, and then we also have senior advisors who are people who have like, who are former leads or exec members and just want to like advise the club, not be as actively involved as they were. Uh, yeah, in terms of like my personal experience, um, I, I've been part of Hackers since our freshman year. Uh, I was uh, leading one team that we have called the interviewing team where I helped members for uh, prepping for technical interviews. Uh, very, very nice experience for me. Got to talk to a lot of members. Uh, improved my, you know, technical and communication skills big time. Uh, and yeah, now as president, uh, I've, yeah, I just, it's been a phenomenal opportunity to like lead a club that operates at such a large scale um, and, you know, yeah. uh, just interacting with someone. That was a people. really awesome answer. Um, so give a great overview of all the leadership opportunities. Um, you mentioned too that um, if you just said you're considered a member, um, <laughs> Is there any, you have to fill out any application or is just, just to clarify, you just attend a meeting and you're considered a member and then you can work your way up? 
Yeah, basically, uh, as I mentioned, we're open membership models. So if you attend, you're a member. As long as you're part of our Slack and you get our emails, you're basically a member. Uh, but then, yeah, to become a core member, there's the attendance requirement. And then I think I forgot to mention, there's also a, like a group style coffee chat that you do with someone from execs, so either be me or uh, two of my VPs, Frank and Aryan. Um, yeah, and it's the coffee chat is like very chill. Uh, it's just to, you know, um, just to see what members are thinking about the club, um, you know, how, how their experience has been. And it's basically just a casual conversation. Um, but yeah, you know, our, our goal is to, uh, you know, basically sustain a community of passionate technologists. And we also believe that uh, we want to provide resources to everyone interested in tech, which is why we're not exclusive. Um, so, yeah. um, and then my last question, just to wrap it up, is can you talk a little bit about your favorite thing or maybe your favorite memory from Machine Makers? Oh, yeah. Uh, I've, I'd say quite a few, but uh, I think the one that stands out is uh, last year, uh, we organized a mm -hmm. social event at Pinball Pete's. Uh, so yeah, that was just two hours of going crazy with the that. arcade games. Yeah, that was really fun. Uh, but hopefully this semester it's uh, yeah. it's ice skating. That's awesome. Uh, really okay, well thank you so much for joining me, um, hackers. That was a really, really awesome overview of everything that you guys have. Um, you guys have a lot of great opportunities. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Thank you.